Today I will show you many useful and neat tricks that you can show off in front of your teammates to boost that win rate and get a lot of easy kills. We will go over a couple of game breaking molotovs, absolutely broken ancient wall bank. We will go over secret positions and boosts on Inferno and also we will analyze the situation from the major where Nico got caught off guard by a game mechanic that you might not be aware of. Let's start. Okay, let's start with Inferno and the triple boost is something that was pretty popular in CSGO but it works wonders in CS2 as well but a little bit better. Actually, what you want to do if you're a lower player, you just want to line yourself up with a beam here and you're going to hold a smoke in case a molly is going to come through. You're going to aim just there into the corner and whenever you see a molly flying, you can release the smoke. But what you can do is as soon as you release the smoke, you can grab a flash and before your smoke pops, you find for the smudge on the wall and you just aim a little bit below it and I will show you how it works. It's, it's really great. So you're going to release a smoke and then you're going to flash like this. You are not going to see anything. However, your teammate that is going to be boosted up here, he's not going to burn because of the smoke. He's going to have a full vision because the smoke is to the side. And then there's a flash coming from the teammate that pops like this. He's never gonna get blind. It pops just under the wood here and any T's that are entering the site, they will have to fight a person that is covered in the smoke, that is covered from all the flashes that might be coming from T side. You're covering all the flashes because of the, um, the roof here and also there are flashes coming from CT, which the guy that is being boosted throwing. So this is great. It's really neat trick to get a lot of free kills when they were there executing B-side and it's pain in the ass to deal for T's. And by the way, this is how the flash looks from the other side. So you're going to be fighting a terrorist up there and you can barely react to the flash because you either have to give up the fight and hide or you have to build full in the open and then you, there's no way where you can dodge the flash and you should be you should be uh, having pretty hard time taking B-side like that. Another thing we're going to talk about is actually a position I have never seen anyone play and it was sent to me uh, by a player named Rylop. He helped me with a lot of tricks, so shout out to him. And that's a position where you can actually play in a pit. And this is not a pixel like position that is forbidden. This is completely legal and you can play it yourself wherever you want. And it's pretty hard to get there actually, but there's opportunity for you. Okay, give me one second, I need to focus. All right, so there's opportunity for you to play actually on this little part of the wall and it creates pretty nasty off angle uh, towards apps or towards short. I understand you're fully in the open and if execute is coming, you're gonna get blind. There's no way for you to hide, but it is still pretty neat to know about these little things because you can use it in, let's say, clutch situations or when you're the last guy alive and you kind of, you can even use it for after plant this T side. I don't know, like you can, you can spot over the smokes, whatever, but Knowing this is always nice to have and it's, it's such a nerdy little find and uh, it's a shout out to Ryloop. And uh, how you're gonna go there is actually you just jump and you kind of have to find the perfect position, you have to practice it a little bit. It's not that easy but there's a couple pixels where you can latch yourself onto. Alright, so definitely first try. <laughs> Let's try it one more time. Last trick for Inferno is for T side and that is the molly that Robs is using pretty much every round and I will explain why it is so good, why it's much better than the other mollies that people are throwing into the apps like this. This is perfectly fine molly. In CSGO it was it was great, you just deal with any CDs pushing into the window etc. However, Robs is throwing a little neat variation where he actually bounces it off the doors and goes deep into the apps like this. This still this allows CTs to get into the window room without being burned. But also this allows them to play apps close. Let me explain. CTs decide to push apps, they cannot suddenly because this molly spreads so far that this position is simply not possible to take without taking damage and T's would be able to hear it if they run really close. So how he's throwing it, it's pretty simple, but honestly, you have to practice it a couple of times before you nail it. And you wanna release it when you're under the bridge. And I'm aiming just on the edge of the red door here and uh, at the steps, so something like this. At the bottom of the steps, actually. And you're gonna hit or clip the door here and it's gonna make it go to the right and it spreads beautiful. Next, let's talk a bit about window smokes on Mirage. Everyone in Faceit 
uh, they know instant window smokes and obviously you want to throw them as much as you can for gaining mid control but every single window smoke will have one huge weakness and that is that CTs can do this with the M4 and they're gonna see a little bit a little bit above the smokes even gaps are here you know it's not perfect and I understand sometimes you manage to hit it perfectly but the spread of the smoke still seems to be rather random but there's a fix instead of throwing an instant window smokes you spend a little bit more time in the spawn and the smoke will land a little bit later but there are no weaknesses to that smoke and that smoke I saw actually from Chopper uh, a long time ago he's gonna come right next to the uh, trash can here and then he's gonna aim right here on the middle of this uh, dark part of the wall at the height of the bottom of the window and what he's gonna do is he's gonna hold a and then he's gonna jump throw when he hits the the orange wall there so it's gonna look like this it's a little funky it's been thrown in csgo a long time ago like that but this smoke manages to land actually much closer to the window and the spread is much more consistent so here you still have a little bit of a gap but here this gap is not possible uh, to abuse it's you're not gonna break the smoke like that and it's much better and also I saw Falcon's variation Madden is throwing this one let's load up a demo to show you the lineup because I don't remember it okay so here we are this is game against Amkal not important but Madden is actually throwing it from top of the trash can and he's going to Volk throw it aiming right there and release just before he uh, falls down from the trash can so i will show you how it how he lines it up how he throws it and then we will see where it lands let's follow the smoke again it it blooms right next to the edge of the smoke uh, of the window so the frame is basically making it spread really nicely there is no gap here unlike the one i showed so this one should be a little bit better and there's no gap from up here and it's not abusable and it's yeah it takes extra step to do it but it's much better whenever you want to take a mid on mirage we're on ancient now and i want to show you a little concept that i brainstormed a couple weeks ago but i didn't get to use it that much but that is the molly that is thrown towards a main and it's pretty standard molly like not many people are even using it because cities are not usually pushing but what it does is interesting here and that is the mechanic that i didn't know about in cs2 for a long time and basically when you throw a molly like this after it's gone it's gonna leave like a black mark on the ground for a little bit which you can use in this specific area of the map to actually creep out of aiming because your shadow is gonna be blending with that black part for a little bit it's gonna be harder for cities who are usually spotting for a shadow here on the ground they're not gonna see it they're not gonna be able to see it because i will show you the ground is so much burnt here that the shadow is going to be much harder to spot and therefore you're going to be like one or two steps ahead before they throw a defensive molly and you can catch them down so this is interesting way to kind of abuse the position and molly mechanic and um, yeah it's abusable pretty much on any map but here is where i thought it about so i was thinking that it might be a little nice way to share it i don't know how useful it is I will try it in my professional games but uh, up until then feel free to abuse it in face next thing that we're gonna talk about is this uh ram position and um i saw from twist from liquid that he's actually jump checking this position for this reason um there's a gap in between the doors and the wall here and you're gonna spot cds pushing down which otherwise you wouldn't be able to spot right um, you, they don't need to necessarily be pushing down, they just need to be in that general area and you have a free information which you can abuse, you can flash for yourself and you can go for a little peek here which are they going to be completely blind but also one step further again you can also ask for a boost here and you can place a you know in my case boat here you can ask for a teammate you can go on top of him and then if you have an op you can actually freely see this CT pushing down and if you have an op, you can kill him one shot into the body. There is no wall bank or anything. And he's not going to be at all ready to react to you. He's not going to be even able to see you. And this is definition of free kill, honestly. If you know about this and you can predict that someone is going to be pushing down, this is just a way to abuse it. Let's move back into Amen, And I actually forgot to tell you that... Well, not forgot to tell you, but I saw 
this uh, molly from Hooksy from on top of the boost. It's pretty meta right now, but I still want to share it. It's really creative way how to clear the boost. And I was thinking how to molly that position for a long time and then Hooksy did it on the major. So props to G2. And uh, what you want to do is just come here into the corner, crouch, and then you aim at the right of this smudge on the wall. It's pretty easy to spot and maybe not on the YouTube video, but in game you will definitely see it. And then you, while crouched, W jump throw. Oh my god, did I miss it? Yeah, I missed it, okay. But now it's fine. I was just a little bit unfocused and it should be spreading a little bit better. Let's see again. Let's do it standing. I saw Hooksy throw in standing like this as well. Yeah, this, this spread is much better and it's gonna flush any CT playing in this really weird position. Bot should be, it's gonna burn here as well, but I don't have it set for, uh, for, for you know, damage so uh, you're gonna flush CT out of the position or out of the corner and here he's gonna be much vulnerable to trade potential and then he's also going to burn and panic a little bit so he maybe give up, gives up position completely so once again the lineup that I wanted to show you is actually standing up and you aim on the right side of this much and it's again W jump throw and this one is a little bit nerdy but I love it on T side there's actually a possibility to get a really easy free kill this reminds me of dust 2 where you're able to kill an enemy within five seconds of the round through the double doors and you can kind of do the same here on Asian which I didn't know and CTs who are starting in a window and they're throwing nades mid and they're approaching mid you can actually wall bang them because from the spawn you can jump up jump up right here and then you're going to with the knob try to wall bank the wall like this I actually hit him for first time in the body for 55 damage but it's one shot headshot if you manage to hit it and this is the lineup so you just want to come onto the edge of this and then you move until you see this huge like bigger more thicker uh, black part of the wood and then you aim left between the between the stones and that uh, and the line this is in the middle of the window obviously you cannot predict if ct is going to run through here or here or in the middle but generally you have pretty good chance to get a free kill. If you have like last round of the half and you have 10k and you have uh, auto sniper or even open the load loadout, feel free to do it. It might be a free kill. Okay, next up we're actually in the demo between uh, Navi and G2 from the Major. This is best of one nuke and uh, there's a weird interaction between JL and Nico that happens and I think Nico is probably aware of this but he wasn't maybe in the heat of the moment and uh, I want to talk about this because this is pretty interesting. So JL, uh, he's playing outside right now, he picked up an AK and this is pretty important round, it's 9-8. Um, whereas Nico is low HP and he opted after getting an entry kill to play this position. Uh, he's playing this little small gap and he spots Jail right there. He's still seeing him but he decides not to shoot because he cannot insta kill him and if Jail shoots back he needs like one bullet to hit even through the wall bank and he's gonna die. But there's something interesting happening between these two players right now because I feel like Jail has no idea about Nico. He's never gonna see him. You can see on the way he plays it with a crosshair, he's never going to, you know, he's never going to pre fire him or anything. But what I believe happened, it's impossible to see by the way, Nico from here. But I, what I believe happened is actually Nico appeared on the radar for JL here. And then JL decided to make a play around it. And I will show you why I think he knows about Nico. He's like, hmm. Something's up on the radar and now he decides to make a cross here, not killing a CT in the main. And instead of going main, because Nico then would have information about this, he would be able to kill him easily. JL decides to go under heaven and you can see that he's laser focused on this position. He knows Nico is there. He appeared on the radar. I'm 100% confident in this. And he's going to crouch underneath the scope of Nico like this. Kill him now without Nico ever like being able to react and in the end there was like pretty good chance to win the round for uh, for Navi, uh, for Navi yeah. but but this interaction between these two players I think Nico should be aware that at some point if you, he aims at the enemy for too long and he aims even like in a general direction where Nico is they're gonna spot each other not necessarily by seeing each other but because of the radar and radar can give you a lot of positions like this when you're looking through a gap that is like one pixel or two pixels wide radar is gonna give 
your position away. Be careful, Nico. I have one trick for Anubis as well, and this is probably by far the most game-breaking molly that I've found in the uh, past couple of weeks. I actually found it together with uh, my teammate from Apex, Sasanito, so shout out to him. And uh, we've theory crafted a way to throw this insane insta molly towards B side, and I'm gonna show you how to do it and what it does. So this is spawn four. It's uh, probably the best spawn that you can take towards B side, and you wanna aim right here. So what, how, how you're gonna do it, it's up to you, but I see the little triangle here, and I'm aiming like on the top part of it. And without moving my mouse now, I'm running towards B side. I will first throw the molly and then explain the lineup. This molly is extremely good because it lands here before CTs can take this cave control or connector control, whatever you want to call it. So they have a decision to make when they're approaching here. They see the molly flying. Do I want to tank the damage through the molly and get this control? Or do I want to use a smoke to take the control? Or do I want to give it up completely? Um, this is a decision that cities have to make and you can play around it because you can hear if they're going through the molly you can take pretty much this area for free thanks to this molly and uh, it's it's wild you can test it yourself with the friends on the server but the molly is going to land before the best spawn ct can approach that part of the map and i've never seen anyone do it but i will show you one more time this is spawn four so top of the triangle and without moving your mouse you want to run and then you're gonna like aim a little bit right side of this pillar okay so without moving your mouse it's going to be somewhere here and then you're going to release the molly with the jump throw when you hit like middle part of this brick so bottom part upper part in the middle you release it let's do it in full motion it's kind of hard so i have to focus uh before i throw it i think i throw it a little bit late but it should be still fine the the molly is still going to spread and it forces either cities to go around and sometimes it's going to spread into the hallway here as well so this is spawn four but i think i have actually spawn nine which is second best spawn and this one is pretty easy as well what you're gonna do is aim at this part of uh, the door frame uh, it's like little white dot for me there so it's like one two three and it's pretty easy to see maybe not on a youtube video but you will see it in game and the lineup is exactly the same the molly is there and the CTs cannot get in, otherwise they will lose a lot of HP and you can perfect it but this is how I throw it and it's pretty consistent but it took me and Sasanito a lot of time to perfect it so you have to practice it definitely and you have to kind of memorize all the lineups and all the nuances that come with it but this is truly, I feel like meta changing Molotov right now on Anubis and I hope to see some more of it because um, I think it can create a lot of variations for T's to play and a lot of headache for CT's to play around. Okay, so now, you know, I know Overpass is out, but I still have uh, another set of uh, game-breaking modes, I feel like, for CT side on this map. Maybe if you're still playing it at some tournaments or you play it with friends on some, uh, some servers, you can still use this. I want to include it at the end of this video if you don't want to watch overpass or anything like that you can click away this is just going to be uh, some nerdy stuff for overpass so these are instant molotovs that are deep ones that was that are landing all the way here and they are by far and i guarantee it the easiest and most consistent and the fastest because what can be faster than instant lineup so there are only after updates five spawns on overpass so i have a lineup for each and every single one spawn one you see the windshield, this one is a little bit like thinner part. You find the middle of it and go a little bit high. And lineups differ from spawn to spawn, obviously. But the ending of the actual throw are always the same. Without moving your mouse, you want to start running towards banana. And then as soon as you're passing the bench, you want to release it. And it will always, always spread all the way deep. This is spawn one. Spawn two, again, is... In between I and R, there's actually like thick line that you want to aim at in the middle of it. Again, without moving your mouse, you run like this and you release it when you pass the bench. Spreads all the way. There's no way for T's to run here. Spawn three is, there's a little triangle here at the corner of the wall. 
and you just aim at the top of that triangle again very easy to see within counter strike so feel free to do it and i will throw it just to prove that it's pretty easy spreads all the way here terrorists have to take damage okay so for spawn four you actually go from the right side of this and you go a little bit up and as soon as you hit the window of the truck you want to stop so this is like the lineup it's a little bit scuffed but this is probably one of the hardest one that you're gonna have to know and that's it and then last spawn for overpass is spawn number five and here it's so for spawn before it was between R and I, now it's bef between C and R. You see the line where it connects both of the letters, you aim at it in the middle of it. I will show you with scout actually. So you see this line, you aim it in the, mi in the middle of it and then you're gonna be able to throw it pretty fast. The thing is, even if you get blocked by the teammates, you can kind of recover the lineup because the ending, as I said, is always the same. I will show you that it's always something like this. So spawn one was here. You want to aim like you see these two circles here. You aim somewhere at them, like in the at, at the line. So you're going to be having crosshair in this kind of direction and then you're going to run and then you're gonna jump throw when you're passing the start of the bench. So one more time, I will pick a random spawn just to prove my point. And it should be there. And these are absolutely game breaking in my opinion because a lot of teams are throwing it willy nilly and they have lineups up here from the bench. They're delaying it a little bit. The terrorists can pass through. Sometimes they're just flat out failing it or the spread is not great these are the five spawns that you need and this is for overpass once it comes back hopefully with a good rework these will still be possible and yeah if, if you still play overpass feel free to use it you're gonna win so much elo and premier ranking thanks to this unless you face a cheater then you have no chance